story time. This is my Chris Vector, chambered in nine millimeter, Parabellum. This actually came to me because I, I was out eating at a restaurant and I was talking to a uh, fellow warfighter and he was saying that his organization had been running these, this was a few years ago, and he'd asked if I ever shot one, and I hadn't. I'd only seen them like in video games, and I didn't know much about them. So fast forward years later, I had the opportunity to buy one, purchase one, I should say, and I did. I brought it home, I did my research on it, looked at it, checked it out. I like it. It unexpectedly became a favorite rifle of mine. Um, out of the box, it comes with iron sights, which I enjoy. I'm a little disappointed with companies that sell rifles just bare naked. No iron sights, no functionality, nothing you can do. And I get it. You know, you're going to customize when you get home. But what if I'm not? What if I'm a first time buyer and I pick up a weapon and I don't know much about iron sights? I don't know what's out there. I don't know what I would like or what I should run. So I think that if you sell a product, it should come out of the box ready to go. So Chris Vector did that, American made company. Not a lot of people like this rifle or carbine, I should say. Gets a lot of hate, but I enjoy it. It shoots flat, it shoots well, this crazy bolt design. The bolt actually travels back and then down to here and then back up. So it pushes the force of the round down instead of back into your shoulder like a traditional AR rifle would do where you see people rocking back because that bolt's riding back, hitting that buffer spring and riding back forward. Um, things to note. I took it apart just to show somebody. It was a father and his sons. His sons saw me and my buddies were out there with some of our more unique weapons, suppressors, things like that. And they saw our guns and they were just like pulling on his shirt, telling him, oh, they used that rifle in Call of Duty or they knew what this was and that was. He had no idea what the rifles were. So he walked over and asked about them. And I was, me and my buddy were both like, yeah, sure, you guys can shoot them, no problem. I don't worry about breaking them. If they break, they're obviously not good rifles, so enjoy them. So to show him how this operated, because it's in its uniqueness, I took it apart, I took the bolt out, showed him how the bolt rid on some rails, or rode on some rails and back forward. I put it back together and in doing so, I didn't seat the bolt in well. And I, I'd never run into that, never experienced that in any other type of weapon when you take the part and put it back together. They usually operate well. But when I did, when I took it apart and put it back together, I kept getting light strikes. Um, it didn't make much sense. And I probably spent a good about, a good amount of maybe 15 minutes trying to figure out why this bolt was doing that. and. Regardless of how I put it back together, it just would not ride well. And I kept getting light strikes. I mean, I did get it back together. Got it running again, but I just thought that was a little weird. So I want to note that to anybody that's thinking about getting one. Just understanding you got to spend some time, you know, understanding this new bolt and how it works in there and how to get the bolt face to have the pin ride completely forward and get you a nice strike on your uh, primer on your round. Um, another thing to note comfortable as it is to grab right here to fire the rifle that's also your mag release and I often found myself grabbing this and when I'm holding on to the rifle I would hit that and drop the magazine <laughs> so I look like a total noob when firing this rifle sometimes so what I want to do is get an extended handguard or maybe I'll reverse this and have this back here so it's a stop to prevent me from putting my hand right there. Um, things. Another thing to note is that I'm assuming the first gen, I don't have a first gen, you were able to remove this barrel shroud. This is not a suppressor, it's a shroud. Um, but from the factory, now they're pinned. But even in the assembly disassembly guide that comes with it, it says you can remove these, but you can't because they're pinned. And I tried to. Also, there is a full length 16 inch barrel on this uh, firearm, which I was hoping that I could remove this and twist it off and it'd be a 
shorty barrel on there, pistol length. However, it's not. So I was disappointed in that, and I wish I'd have done some more research, because uh, I, I wouldn't mind shortening it up a little bit, maybe a little short suppressor about that length on it. But you live and you learn, you know, SBR it. That's okay. You can send these back to Chris Vector, and they will remove it, and they can do the SBR cup for you, but you have to also uh, show proof that you are able to legally possess an SBR. Um, but it's just not worth the money. It's just not worth the money, and you'd be down a gun. This is one of my favorite shooters. I enjoy it, and if you're in the market for one, yeah, check it out, check it out. Do your research, see which one is better for you. Uh, at the time, I had never fired uh, a pistol design, carbine, or rifle, however you wanna refer to them as, uh, until I'd used my buddies. I wasn't sure I would like them, and I shot his uh, pistol AK and his pistol AR that he has. Not bad, not bad. I enjoyed them. In fact, <laughs> after I shot his AR that day, I went out and bought, uh, same day, left left the range. On my way home, I stopped by a local gun store and they had uh, the CZ Scorpion in there that I've been eyeballing for a while. Picked it up, brought it home with me. Uh, that has become one of my favorite truck guns. Uh, it sits in there and uh, in case of <laughs> In the event that anything crazy happens, I can pull that out and I can get to work. I can get myself home. And I also carry my EDC on me everywhere I go, but I have a backup. Um, this is one of my favorite guns. I love it with this optic on it. I have no issues. Uh, it's balanced pretty well. As you can see, the weight is evenly distributed across this rifle. It's, it's good, it's good. If you're in the market for a fun gun to run, this is it. If you're looking into pistol caliber carbines, I know they're not very popular. I know they're becoming more popular. Uh, I enjoy all my pistol caliber carbines. I have two. And I'll definitely not write them off. And if I see something else out there I like, I'll definitely pick them up.